One of my first videos uploaded to YouTube is the one where I show a treadmill motor working. Nevertheless, I did not show how I made it or why. Unfortunately, I did not take any videos when I was making this project, only pictures. As a matter of fact, I had two motors. This one that you see here is an older style motor. I did not like this one because it has two big shock transformers to make it run properly. However, they both have a 5 8 uh, of an inch diameter shaft, which fits uh, my lathe shock and the Shopsmith drill shock for accessories. At the beginning, I thought I could use it uh, to integrate it to my CNC rotary axis, or even I thought that I could use it for sanding or buffing or even horizontal drilling, but I ended up uh, buying a Shopsmith Mark V instead. Nevertheless, I thought I could make it look good, making it a case and controls or just, just to make it work. I watched the video of this guy uh, uh, that made a, a timing controller with a couple of 555 timers uh, and some uh, a few components, a potentiometer to vary the pulse width modulation uh, to uh, decrease or increase the speed. I will put a link to his video down on the description. So I went ahead and etched this uh, printed circuit board so I could mount these two 555 timers on it and a few components. Uh, you can see that there are two potentiometers in it. Uh, one of them is to calibrate uh, the timing circuit to the board and the other one of course is to vary the speed. You can also see the on switch and to turn it off with the emergency stop switch, it just cut off the power to it. The neat thing about this is that uh, whatever uh, speed you dial on the potentiometer, it will keep that same speed when you restart it. So it's pretty neat. So I started building this uh, uh, mounting bracket where I'm gonna put the motor and uh, I made it out of wood and you can see here where I painted all the, uh, the case and it looks kind of cute and uh, that's with the shock there that's the controls right there uh, and uh, with the labels and the emergency stop uh, control the uh, uh, what is that speed direction and the speed and the start button the advantage of this uh, uh, circuit is that uh, where it doesn't matter where what speed you leave it at when you turn on that um, button it, it'll assume that speed that you dialed so that's it won't start from zero if you put it in five it'll start in five so here is a test where I make uh, the motor spin and uh, it takes a little while for it to actually start uh, but once it starts, then it controls the speed fine. You can use these motors to put it on a drill uh, press and make it a variable uh, a drill press, right? So I think it just looks pretty cool. That's why I decided to make this, this project. All right, this is gonna conclude this video. Uh, it's something that I kind of wanted to finish because I just uploaded the uh, uh, the video of me just making it run so probably this will clarify why I made it thank you very much for watching uh, if you like it just give it a thumbs up uh, and uh, don't forget to share and subscribe thanks again